Hi, welcome to Coda Dojo Virtual Edition. My name is Lori. Today is week six of our Introduction to Coding program, and we're going to investigate how to do artwork using the program Scratch. Let's get started by learning how to draw a square. First off, I'm going to get rid of the cat sprite, and I'm going to choose an arrow. And this helps when drawing so that you know what way your sprite is moving. The next step will be to choose some drawing tools. So you'll see I went to this icon right down here. And this icon has this option to select a pen. When I choose that, you can see now that I have lots of blocks related to the pen. Let's get started. As usual, we're going to choose when the green flag is clicked to start our program. Now we're going to choose a pen block and we're going to put our pen down, meaning that it will draw a line. Next, we, we will add a motion block. We want our pen to move, I'm going to say, 100 steps. Let's see what happens here. Our pen moved 100 steps and drew this line. With the pen options here, I can click on erase all and our pen mark erases. I'm just going to pull that out here. Now I'm going to move our pen back to the middle. Okay, after we've moved our pen a hundred steps, let's try to make a square by having the pen turn 90 degrees. So once again, it's going to be a motion block. 90 degrees. Why? Because a square has four corners. Each of those angles is 90 degrees. Each side is going to be 100 steps. So let's keep adding move 100 steps. Turn 90 degrees four times and see if our arrow makes a square. And the last time here. Let's click the green flag and see what happens. There we have it. We've now made a square by coding the pen. We've learned about loops. Let, can you think of a way to make a square using loops? Let's start once again with click green flag when clicked. Let's put our pen down. Let's bring in a repeat loop. Put it in here. Let's have our move 10 steps right in here, but we're going to make it 100. We're going to add our turn 90 degrees. And how many times do we want this loop to repeat? Well, four in order to make our square. Let's get rid of this code.
and see how this code works. Oh, we have to erase all first. There we go. Erased all, and let's hit the green flag. And there's our square. So you can see using the repeat loop, it took far fewer steps to write our code to make the square. Let's see if we can use our making a square code to make lots of squares. Let's first erase this. And we're now going to change our code. We're going to say when, when the green flag is clicked. We're going to make our sprite 50% of its normal size just so it doesn't get in the way. So it's going to be a look and we're going to set size. Here we are. Set size to 50%. We're going to do a pen down. Let's take this, put the pen down. We're then going to start a loop that will repeat. We're gonna do a repeat loop. We're gonna make 24 squares. So how do we make a square? We're gonna pop this code right in here. Take everything though, we want the repeat loop too. So we've put a repeat of making these these squares. So you can see, this is the code we use to make a square. What we've done now is we're going to make 24 squares, but each time we want, first of all, it to just do 50 steps. And then each time we also want it to turn 15 degrees and you'll see that after it makes that square we want it to turn 15 degrees and then go back up and make another square let's see what happens with this I like to experiment with one more option, and that is to change the size of my pen. So change pen size by, I'm going to try to change my pen size to, say, 10. Let's see what kind of result we have. Well, that was interesting. Why don't you experiment by changing the number of sides in your shape, the size of your shape, the color of pens, perhaps coding three shapes one after the other, and all of the very many options that you have over here, and with your moving, how far, how big and see what kind of artwork you can come up with.